We are here interviewing Dr. Siku. Uh, it is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month this January, and Dr. Siku is going to walk us through some of the most important parts about cervical cancer. Okay. So, yes, January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. What's important is cervical cancer, it's one of the cancers that we can actually detect cells in the cervix before they become cancerous. This is why it's very important that every sexually active woman should have a pap smear done. A pap smear will detect those cells and on top of that, when we do a pap smear, we check for the human papilloma virus, which is actually the virus that can cause cancer of the cervix. Yes, there are different strains of the virus. Some of them just cause what is called um, genital warts. All right. So when you do a pap smear, it's not so painful. You, we, we insert a speculum and you might feel a little bit of discomfort and then we just focus on the mouth of the womb. So we put a speculum through the vagina and then we will use a little brush to just take the cells and then we will send them to the lab so that they can look at the cells and see if they are normal endocervical cells and squamous cells and then they will also test for the human papilloma virus. So we specifically say that as soon as a person is sexually active should have had a pap smear in their point in life. But now we stress more that cervical screening should start at the age of 25. And then, uh, especially with HPV testing, what is nice about doing HPV testing now? If HPV testing is negative, then you can do your pap smear every five years. Unless something else happens, you've got abnormal discharge or you've got abnormal bleeding. So just fast forward, what happens, the doctor tells you that you've got cervical cells that can lead to cervical cancer. Those cells can actually be removed without having to take out the womb. And sometimes even in early stages of cancer, especially for women that still want to have children, we can remove just the mouth of the womb if it's early stages and then we can do other modalities to help them fall pregnant. So once you've been diagnosed with cancer, if it's still in early stages, there are things that can be done. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose your womb.